Ministers from the East and Horn of Africa region have signed a declaration to help reduce the impact of climate change, which has a massive impact on migration of people and livestock. Speaking during the Interministerial Conference on Climate Change and Migration, Environment CS Keriako Tobiko said Kenya will adhere to the terms of the declaration and advocate for deeper greenhouse gas emission cuts ahead of the COP27 conference in Egypt. Faisal Ahmed has more from Kampala, Uganda. South Sudan signed and ratified the Paris Agreement. Most African countries suffer the consequences of climate change, yet they're the least producers of carbon emissions. This prompting a series of meetings and a delegation of ministers from the region in signing a declaration that will aid the region in reducing the impact of climate change. This has been touted as one of the main reasons for human migration. <laughs> Some of the resolves that were agreed to during the summit includes funding green energy and creating green jobs and also allocating funds and mobilizing funds towards reforestation and irrigation schemes within the region. Also countries committed towards reducing their greenhouse emission gases. Here in Uganda we can give testimony to the dangers of mismanaging the environment. There is the global mismanagement of the environment by those who are emitting greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, which is a very good gas. Because carbon dioxide is a good gas if it is used properly. The joint declaration is supposed to create a unified voice for African nations ahead of the COP27 summit expected to take place in Egypt later on in the year. To survive climate change impacts and reduce climate-induced migration and displacement, Africa needs long-term investment in resilience building, early warning systems, and climate-resilient infrastructure. It is for this reason that I urge our developed uh, country partners and big emitters to urgently reduce emission to keep 1.5 alive. Meet their climate finance obligation in a transparent and timely manner. Finance loss and damage, increase funding for adaptation and recognize the special needs and circumstances of Africa. As day three of the summit comes to a close, African leaders are calling upon global leaders who made promises during the Paris Climate Summit to honor their pledges and make sure that African countries are protected against the effects of climate change. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Kampala, Uganda.